Hi everybody. Welcome back to Cinema4DTutorial.net. This time, we will model the Tron light cycle. Let's get started. OK. For this project we will use this image file. As you can see, it is a geometrical image that will help us a lot while we work on the cycle. First, drag the image to the front panel. Next, we will deactivate the panel grid to improve visibility. Go to Edit. Configure. Then, select the Filter tab on the Attributes window, and deactivate the Grid option. OK. Let's continue. Second, create a tube object. Move it, and scale it. Then, go to Display, and select Wireframe Mode. After you switch to Wireframe Mode, adjust the object to the geometrical image. That's it. OK. It is done. Scale the object until it fits the image. All right. Next, change the rotation segments attribute. Set the object rotation segments to 20. Now, switch to perspective view. As you can see, the object consists of few polygons. Next, make the object editable, in order to delete the polygons points we won't use. For this purpose, use the selection tool. Select the points on the right as you can see on screen. And delete them. OK. Switch to front view. Third, extrude the wheel polygons to add more layers. For this purpose, select the loop selection tool. Then select the inner radius polygons. Scale just a bit. Next, select the object's outer radius polygons. Right-click the border, and select Extrude. Start to extrude the polygons, remember to use the cycle image as a guide. That's it. Now continue modeling. As you can see, we have already modeled part of the wheel. We used the extrude tool and provided the shape.
What comes next is copy this wheel to create the rear wheel. Well, as you see, we copied the wheel. They are identical. What we are doing next is connect the polygons and convert them into a single one. Go to the object window, select both tube objects. Then, click object and select connect. Rename the new object. Type bike and delete both wheels. Let's continue modeling. For this, select the front wheel polygon's border. Select the extrude tool and extrude the polygons like this. After extruding, switch to point selection mode to continue modeling. Like this. OK. All right. It's done. Next, continue using the extrude tool to create the rest of the polygons. As you can see, we have modeled part of the bike's body by using the extrude tool. What comes next is connect these polygons to the rear wheel. Continue modeling. To connect the polygons, select two points, right click, and select the wheeled tool. Repeat this process to connect the rest of the points. You can also hit the space key to use both tools. In this part, we will connect three points. OK. As you can see, we are done with part of the modeling. We completed one side of the bike. Next, we will create a mirror copy by using the symmetry tool. Drag the object to the tool. Move the x-axis until you get something like this. OK, it looks very good. Next, we will create the tires. To model them, first create a tube object. Round the corners by activating fillet and changing the fillet radius value. Then scale the Y axis. Set segments to 8, radius to 24 centimeters. And height segments to 10. OK. Now rotate the object 90 degrees. 
and place it like this. Next, scale it to fit the tire into the cycle. OK. It's done. And it looks good. Once the tire is fit into the front part of this cycle, make the object editable to create the tire tracks. After you make the object editable, select the loop selection tool and select the following polygons like this. Next, use the Extrude Inner tool and perform an inner extrusion. Once it is done, it will look like this. Well, let's continue modeling the cycle. As you can see, we added more details to it. Coming next, we will create a hole for the engine and the cycle's body. To create this hole, reshape the polygons. Use the cycle image as reference. Reshape them like this. OK. Select the polygons and delete them. Notice the hole was created. Next, activate hypernerbs to round the polygon edges. OK. Now let's improve the modeling. To continue, we will add details to the front and rear wheels. For this purpose, select the following polygons. Then select the Extrude tool. Next, extrude just a bit. Like this. Well, there is no big difference by the moment. Finally, assign the hypernerbs tool to the object. Now, we can see a more detailed light cycle.